Okay, I want to move on to our last category of galaxies. This is not part of the Hubble tuning fork, um, but this is just a, a category of everything else. Um, and these are called irregular galaxies. So they tend to have really bizarre shapes because for the most part, these are generated when galaxies collide with each other. And so sometimes if one galaxy punches through another one, then you might see a shape like this where it looks kind of like a fried egg or a ring with another galaxy inside. Um, and other irregulars are stretched out, not by collisions, but just by another galaxy, a more massive galaxy passing by can gravitationally distort all of the matter within a galaxy and create what we call streamers. So um, for example, there are some dwarf galaxies that orbit the Milky Way. They're called the Small Magellanic Cloud and the Large Magellanic Cloud. And the, the Small Magellanic Cloud, the SMC, is being gravitationally torn apart by the Milky Way. And so it leaves a streamer of stars behind it in its wake. So irregulars have lots of fun shapes because every collision is different and every gravitational interaction is different. Um, irregulars tend to contain both old and young stars. And the reason for this is that some, you know, the galaxies that collided to create the irregulars, they had stars in them in the first place. And the collision itself generates new stars as the gas and dust in in the, each individual galaxy comes together. So as that gas and dust comes together, it collapses and forms new stars. So we see lots of new stars forming in irregulars and then also lots of old stars that were there in the original galaxies. So kind of a random class of galaxies, uh, lots of variety. <laughs> 